Uh, Wayne Bailey, who until lunchtime was your candidate in Crawley, a Conservative-held seat, tweeted today, F your election strategy and F Boris. Very disappointed to see Nigel bottle it and back the EU treaty agreed by Boris. Uh, have you bottled it? I, well, I do not back the EU the EU treaty of, and, and political declaration as backed by Boris. Of course, you're I asking people it. to vote for it in 317 constituencies. And, and I would, and do you know what? If it comes before the European Parliament unamended, I would vote against it. Be in no doubt. But you want about people to that. vote for it in 317 constituencies? No, I don't. I want people to vote for Boris's pledge last night that says ah. he is going to change it in two fundamentally important areas. And what we now have to do is to make sure he keeps that promise, which is why we will turn the Brexit Party's fire onto Labour constituencies, 140 of which have never had Conservative MPs and uh, now have a Labour Party uh, who have broken their promises to them. They will leave constituencies now being represented by Remainer MPs. And if we can get enough people into Parliament on that ticket, we will keep Boris honest to his pledge. Uh, How will you keep him honest? Um, You think he's dishonest? I think that a lot of people in career politics say things in elections to get elected uh, and then sometimes change tack or position. Uh, I want to make sure that what he said last night, he sticks to. And if he does... How do you do it? Well, it's very easy, isn't it? Because if, if we have a Brexit party sitting in Parliament and a Prime Minister that breaks those pledges, he knows he will bleed votes in a very large and very quick way to the Brexit party. It's a great way... Well, in, a, in a future election in five years' time? It's a great way of keeping him honest. Um, you are not explained how you're going to keep him honest, though, but the threat of maybe winning an election in five years' time. British politics is at a state now where trust is very, very low, and people can... Uh, how much do you blame yourself for that? And change how... And change how well, I've tried to bring trust back into British politics by trying to make things accountable. Um, and I think all the while you're part of the European Union, you're having pretty fake general elections where so much of our life is not even decided by Westminster. All right.